Why, hello there. I'm glad you could make it. I'm Oswald B. Thompson, the CEO of Coaster Coast. Oh, Oswald. I didn't realize we had a guest. I'm terribly sorry. It didn't come up on my schedule. Not to worry, Eugene. This is the person I was telling you about. You're looking at the successor of Coaster Coast. Well, providing everything goes smoothly, of course. I can't just hand them the keys to the kingdom now, can I, eh? <laughs> Goodness, I do apologize. I've just checked my roster and there you are, right between King Coaster and Queen Splash. Not quite sure how I managed to royally mess that up, but never mind. You're accounted for now. Marvellous! Well, with that sorted, I think it's about time Eugene, our brilliant ride engineer, and I showed you the ropes. Consider this your official induction. Before we get started, we have a checklist of objectives from HR that we need to go through. I... Now, I've got something that I think you'll enjoy. Splendid! Our guests will need a way to access the ride, so let's add an entrance gate. And with every entrance, we need, that's right, an exit gate. You will need to connect a queue path to the ride entrance. Without one, guests will not be able to access the ride. We obviously won't need queues for guests leaving the ride. Could you imagine? <laughs> so you'll need to make sure you're connecting a standard park path to the exit gate. And that's it! That's all! It's also worth noting that our guests will have to pay for tickets to enjoy the rides in our parks. We control how much we charge, though. So, let's encourage guests to ride our latest attraction by setting the ticket price to bargain for now. We can always increase the price later. Yeah. 
I like to say, when you achieve popularity, charge premium for prosperity. But one step at a time, eh? For now, a very well done and a shiny Medland. That's your first ride built, and I'm sure it'll be the first of many. The addition of a new ride will have given a slight boost to our park rating. Multiple different factors contribute to this rating, so you'll want to pay attention to the park rating overview. The better the rating, the more guests will visit. Ah, while driving the guest count up is good, we need to make sure the guests also remain happy while they're visiting. As you can see, we've just received a report that not all of the guests are enjoying themselves. The guests will need somewhere to relieve themselves after all that intake. Why not build a toilet nearby? We wouldn't want our guests walking around with crossed legs now, would we? That isn't good for anyone's posture. Speaking of walking, guests will get tired pretty quickly and their energy will drop if they don't have a place to sit. We should make sure there are plenty of benches available. Think of them as Planconian recharging stations. 